Ooh, it's dark. It's really dark. Welcome to a very beautiful Boxing Day morning. A ride I wasn't expecting to do at all. But I saw the forecast. They said cloudless skies and cold. So I've jumped at the chance to organise a club ride today, which I don't normally do. So I thought I'd put some hills in to start with. What better way to, uh, to clear the head and the belly? <sighs> so straight into the uh, 15 percenters. A chance to maybe try the very end of the top cog on my 34 cassette for the first time. Oh. Of course, uh, when I say the new gearing, I'm on the, uh, I'm on the TCR this morning. I just miss it. I miss riding it. It's lovely to ride. Bear with, got downhill here. Sorry about that. Yeah, so I'm on the TCR. Yes, it's going to get dirty. But yes, I'll wash it as soon as I get home. So, hopefully it'll be fine. Hopefully this video will look a bit better than uh, <laughs> my previous effort with this camera. But yeah, today's just a nice, easy Boxing Day ride. Oh, look at this. The colours this morning. Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you've had a good one. So yeah, today's ride, about 30 miles or so. I've got to get there and back. I can't be bothered with driving. And I had a little bit of a drink yesterday, so I'm not driving. So let's get to Kirby Lonsdale, meet up with the crew. And as you'll see by the title of the video, I've got lots of elements. It sounds like a list of excuses, but sort of a, what happens to me on a daily basis and why everything's not always as easy as it might look. So, as the sun rises, just look over Cape Lonsdale Square. I've got a couple of minutes to go through this. So, ailments, I have many, I have many. There's lots up with me. Now, first things first, at the moment, generally, I'm big. Now, don't worry, I know this is a relative thing, but at the moment, I am 80 kilos. That's the heaviest I've been for quite a long time. Boy, it's Boxing Day. I've got a couple more days of gluttony left. I'm out drinking all day tomorrow with my buddies. A 20 plus year tradition. So that's not gonna help. But come New Year, the weight's gonna start dropping off because I need to be lighter for riding up the hills as much power as I am adding to my riding at the moment with the just constant Zwift training and occasional hill efforts and sprints and what have you. It doesn't matter if you're heavy, does it? So yeah, I'm, I'm heavy. Right, what order should we do this? Right, let's start with my feet. These things, always got cold feet. It's not an ailment, but athlete's foot's a big issue for me. Uh, years of running, um, distance running, have utterly knackered my toenails I'm missing about half of each, if not more. And I climb twice a week and I'm cramming them into little little shoes which are you know too small for my feet. Doesn't help, but I'm not gonna stop that because I utterly adore climbing and I can get along get on with it. Um, a few weeks ago, moving upwards slightly, I was at the physio because I had a if you remember knots in the back of here. The sort of still exists, but it's a lot lot better. My right knee especially is Still giving me pains from the Ironman. That was three months ago now, more than three months ago. Yeah, it was the start of September, crikey. So I'm still getting issues with tendons, tendonitis there. Move up a bit, um, you can, uh, the lower portion of my back, I have a bulging disc. I had an MRI scan a couple of months ago and the results showed a bulging disc. Not bulging enough for them to operate on, but it's a thing. Slightly higher up than that, I have just a world and 30 year of back pain. So every morning I'm having to get up and do at least 10 minutes of stretches to get myself prepared in the morning. Bit of neck ache, what have you. Uh, finger, this bloody thing. That is, 
still not right from my climbing injury a month ago, but apparently that could take up to a year. Yes, I understand all these sound like really lame excuses, but they're not excuses for anything because it's not stopping me doing anything. I'm just highlighting what's going on in my life. Um, Sinus, I've had a cold, which the world has had, I think. Uh, everyone's had this, and it's just one that doesn't shift. You'll probably know this. You've probably had it. Everyone's, uh, I think, three and a half, four weeks now. Yes, because I picked it up the week before I went to London. And I went to London on the 29th of November. So I've had it for a month. Um, yeah. Oh dear. So that's not good. Uh, which means it's not your nose. And when I do a sprint, I am. <coughs> there's a summit in there, chesty. Again, no excuses. They're not excuses. These are just things. Is it just that I'm getting old? I don't know. And finally, um, probably most importantly, is in here. Now, I don't know what you're like when you're training for things. And as you know, I've got a training plan. And from the last video, you'll see that my average power per heartbeat on all of my training, whether it be indoor, outdoor, whatever, is on the rise. But still, the head's going, is it enough? Are you as fit as you were last year? I don't know. I mean, I can look back at Strava because you have your Strava fitness level, which is a good indicator because I always wear a heart rate monitor for every ex exercise I do. Um, when I climb, I have one on my wrist. And when I'm cycling or running, I have on here. And it gives you an overall fitness and obviously it correlates with your weight. So I know for a fact that it's higher. My fitness is better than it was last year but that still doesn't go in here sometimes, does it? That aids, weirdly, it makes you train a bit harder, but then again, you have to remember not to train too hard, but train too often and give yourself rest days. Obviously yesterday was a rest day, it was Christmas day. Give yourself a bit of relaxation and a bit of headspace, um, because yeah, you don't want to overtrain, because that's the worst thing you can do. End up injured, end up knackered, fatigued, you can't train at all, it sets you back. So yeah, so I think, yeah, for now, it's just nice to get out. I mean, it's, it's beautiful this morning. Absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna get out, smash these 30 miles out. Another, whichever route I decide to go home because I'll work it out then. This thing again, it's just after being on the turbo. Oh. <laughs> and, and the titanium. I've had to put my seat up again because I think it keeps sliding. So I've now got a gap with my heat shrink here. Fortunate, fortunately, I've got some more. Uh, I bought too much so I'll redo that but I'm going to do a full FTP test with friends of mine down in uh, Cambridgeshire soon in January so we're going to get myself perfectly dialed in and I can translate to everything. Right, people are arriving so I'm going to get on my bike. Isn't that just glorious? So it's everyone dropped off now, just heading home. And uh, Boxing Day stuff happens now. And you know where that entails. So just a small matter of about eight, nine miles and 900 feet of climbing to do. And go and, uh, go and get fed. I hope you all have a brilliant new year, whatever you decide to do, I'll see you in 2024.